my target's at. All my weapons have targeted on one area of the body, all being aimed at the head. So what normally happens is the first one might sneak through, as soon as the second one's coming in, what do they start doing with their hands? Cut up. Yeah. So that's going to leave us two really nice pathways that we're going to uh, explore and uh, we're going to take advantage of is we're going to have from our two, three, two, and we've had our slide back three. We've also got the ability, what we were doing on Monday, of bobbing down and driving straight back up in through that liver shot. Okay, so that's one avenue we've got. It's because we've made their hands so from here, they're protecting high body drive. We're able to drop our weight and really sink our fist. Remember, it's not so much, it's not the arm coming through, it's the elbow sort of sticking and it's my hips and everything like wind up, okay? Wind up here and watch Mike Tyson. When he comes low, he's like right down here. And then by the time he hits him, it's good night. You know, like, he sinks that liver shot in real deep on purpose. Okay, so he's hitting with his whole body, not just with his knuckles down from his uh, elbow joint. So as well as we have our two, three, two. What I want my partner to do is before we do the step back three, when I've come here, what have I opened up? Your head. Yeah, because he's moved his hands up. Now, traditionally, you might see everyone's expecting the kick to come off this side. Okay? Because this is where we've done a washing machine, haven't we? So it's ready to switch back. Dutch style, here, we're going to skip to the side instead and, and fight here, here, here. Step to the side. I'm not kicking from in front. I'm stepping a short step to the side. So where we've had our slide back, we've now done our slide around. Okay? From here, low 12. Now we do our step back three. Because if he was to be stepping in on me, especially if he's gone, he's caught this, and he's moved forward to engage, he's moving now from hands high, he gets hit in the midsection, what happens to his hands? They come down, step back three. <clears throat> and again. So that's the tactics we're trying to exploit as we do this. The catches, I want you to make sure that you're catching them in the rib area as well. That way you know where the kick's coming and it's just to get in that good pattern of a catcher. Okay? Get in that good catcher, uh, uh, catch pattern. Step back three. So I'm back in front of him again. Even though I've kicked to the side, did anyone notice where I am at the end? I'm stepping back. So it's my footwork which is the most important part of all of this. This is the same, two, three, two, step, here, step, here, okay? My footwork has to set up my strikes. None of this would work if I'm just static in the spot, okay? None of this would work because the power and everything else is going to come from my angle. Pop, 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 step, step, as I go in, okay? Any questions, just keep it real slow. I'm at the moment, I'm doing a deliberate step pattern. Pop, 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 step, pop, step, pop. Okay, so I'm looking for that pattern. No point trying to build up speed or anything else until you've got that foot movement. Here, dash, here. Okay, one, two, three, here, back to here. That's my footwork. On three, ready? One, two, let's go.